Since the beginning of mankind, meat has always been on the menu, whether we've been hunting on our own or if a farmer has raised it for us. But for the last hundred years, farming has become more and more of an industry, and today, 10 billion animals are killed every year for food in the US alone, according to the USDA. That's a lot of meat. And a lot of meat requires a lot of water, and a lot of grains, and a lot of grass. This means that the meat industry is putting an enormous strain on the environment. And with all the hormones and antibiotics, is meat even still a natural product? Maybe the meat industry should start taking responsibility. Or maybe we should all become vegetarians instead. Let's face it, that's not going to happen. But there is a solution. Something that could make us live healthier lives and also help our planet in terms of reducing the emission of greenhouse gases substantially, more or less solve the climate crisis. The solution is called in vitro meat. In vitro meat is entirely produced in labs. Yes, it might sound a bit gross, but let me show you that it's not. This is a cow. Traditionally, we'd kill it to collect its meat, but not anymore. Instead, we take some stem cells from the cow and grow them in a lab. When these cells have multiplied, we put them in a super nutritious soup that converts them into muscle cells, which we grow with electric impulses and ta-da, we now have meat which can be made into, for example, sausages or hamburgers. In theory, a single cell from one animal could be used to feed the entire global population without stressing the environment. In vitro meat will be 100% pure muscle. And because we have full control over the production process, we can replace dangerous artery-clogging saturated fats with healthy fats like omega-3. In other words, we can make a hamburger that's actually good for you. This new way of producing meat would use 45% less energy than traditional meat production, require 99% less land, create 96% less greenhouse gas emissions, and use 96% less water. In vitro meat could be in grocery stores within five to 10 years. But it's not a question of time, it's a question of money. Scientists need funding to complete their research and make the production process more efficient. By 2050, the Earth's population is estimated to be 9 billion. So finding a sustainable alternative to today's traditional meat production is clearly critical. Please, spread the word, and hopefully soon we'll be able to enjoy meat that is good for us, better for the environment, and not to mention all the billion animals that no longer have to suffer. <laughs> <laughs>